Hey everyone, I'm Deanna Corby with Deanna Corby Dressage. I'm a dressage trainer, instructor, competition judge, and USDF bronze medalist. Thanks so much for joining me again today. Uh, recently, I put up a video on how to have a successful relationship with your horse trainer or with your riding instructor. If you missed it, I'll be sure to put up a card so that you can check that out. But this time, I wanted to make a video on what you, as a student, should expect from your trainer. First, it's important that you find a qualified trainer. I'm sure Sally down the road, who has a couple of horses, can, is more than willing to teach you for 20 bucks, and you might not fall off, but you will probably learn some pretty bad habits, and there's no real way to know if she's really keeping you as safe around these thousand pound animals as you really could be. So a good resource for finding a qualified trainer is something like the usdf.org. Um, they have a list of uh, trainers and judges that are certified through their program. Um, if you're not familiar with the USDF, um, you can check out whatever other national governing body there is for your discipline. Um, but that's a really good place to start. Uh, you need someone certified by some, some kind of governing body to teach you the correct way and to te keep you safe. So after you've found your qualified trainer, it's important that your trainer has a trainer. They say, if your trainer doesn't have a trainer, you need a new trainer. And I totally think that's true. Continuing education is really important for everyone, um, whether you're a doctor, whether you're a farrier, and definitely whether if you are a horse trainer. Um, it's easy to go around and, and ride on your own and develop bad habits. So your trainer needs a trainer and preferably not just um, someone that they take a clinic from once a year. Your trainer needs regular eyes on the ground so that she's keeping, or she or he is keeping up their abilities and making their own progress and um, furthering their education. Riding horses is a lifelong journey and the learning doesn't stop after just a few years of riding. So after you have uh, found your qualified trainer and they are um, taking regular lessons themselves, other things you can expect are for your trainer or your riding instructor to be 100% there for you in your lesson. No distractions, um, not chatting with their friends, um, definitely not on their phone at all. And uh, your trainer needs to be standing up they need to be in the middle of the arena, and if they're not in the middle of the arena, they need to be just on the outside of where you're riding. Maybe they're looking at your outside aids, your outside leg, or whatever. But they need to be on their feet, and I feel pretty strongly about that. Um, you know, you just can't see as well if you're sitting on a chair outside of the arena. Um, unless you're old, sick, or injured, your trainer, you need to expect your trainer to be on their feet and thoroughly involved and invested into your lesson. Uh, next, um, something that you could expect from your trainer is they need to be willing to ride your horse for you. Um, again, unless they're very old, sick, or injured, um, your trainer should be willing to ride your horse for you. If they're not, that might be a good sign that you um, should seek other help. But um, your trainer needs to ride your horse for you, probably not the first time you guys ever work together, but after your trainer kind of gets to know you and your horse a little bit, your trainer needs to get up on your horse and give your horse a feel. Because uh, what you see and what you feel aren't always the same. Something else that you should expect from your trainer is honesty, not just someone giving you compliments. Um, sometimes the truth is a little uncomfortable and sometimes the truth kind of hurts, um, but your trainer needs to be willing and educated enough to be 
honest about the situation at hand. Perhaps your horse is underweight and you maybe don't realize it enough because you're uh, a beginner or maybe you haven't noticed because like you see your horse every day. But um, your trainer needs to be honest with you about uh, how they feel that your horse is at an unhealthy weight and how it should be addressed. Um, also, if your trainer um, thinks that you're doing basically doing something wrong, they need to be comfortable enough and willing to tell you and um, and uh, so that you are really getting your money's worth. You're paying good money for this person to come out and help you and um, you don't want to throw that away. You want to get your money's worth. Something else that you should expect for your trainer is a custom individualized lesson. They shouldn't just parrot off the general um, instructions like, okay, trot, okay, canter, okay, change directions. A monkey could do that. That's, um, that's not probably what you're paying for. You could do that at home. So your trainer needs to give you a custom individualized lesson that is suitable for you and your horse where you are right now. Um, also what I really like when I am looking for a trainer or working with a trainer is, uh, I want my trainer to tell me why we're doing what we're doing. I don't want my trainer to just drill me around and tell me to do, um, half pass from here to there. I want to know exactly why we're doing the half pass or, um, why we're doing the, um, collected canter on a square or why we're working on transitions that day or whatever. Um, I wanna know why we're working on what we are and the goal and, um, and uh, the whole idea behind it. I don't like it when my trainer just drills me around and uh, I just am following her instruction and then by the end of the lesson, I'm just tired and winded and I feel like I haven't really learned anything. So um, I hope this is helpful for you uh, if you're looking for a trainer or maybe you want to assess your relationship with your trainer. Um, I think it's easy for us um, to kind of just go week after week and, and do the same old thing with our trainer. But um, as a student, uh, you should expect some, um, you should have high expectations for your trainer because that's what you're paying for. You know, you have, um, you have the right to have these expectations that, that we talked about today. I feel like as a trainer myself and as a student that um, I have a good vantage point to talk about both points. So um, anyway, thanks again for joining me today. Uh, if you like this video, be sure to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.